We're ready, Ernie. My name is the comic professor, and I'm going to teach you about Joseph Baker and Charles Harrison. But first, let's talk about why we're here, and I will be lost at roots. Thank you for the presentation, Mom. Who are we? We love museums and learn about Black history. We love sharing when we learn with others. Everyone deserves to know their history. Everyone. We love parents and we build confidence in their children and inspire them to read stories about great life heroes and heroes. Shout out to Aunt Jenny Ray. But first, let's move on to rules to Joseph. Who was Joseph? She was born with the name Freda Josephine McDonald in St. Louis, Missouri, June 3rd, 1906. Help her family see what they do. sit and waitress tables to earn money. To waitress tables means she will be a waitress to restaurants. She's going to buy dancing for pennies and coins on the street corner. She became a dancer, singer, and actress. Just me grew up animals so much, she had pets such as a cheetah, pig, and goat. Imagine those pets at your house. Also, Josephine had adopted 12 adopted children from all around the world. What did Josephine do to achieve her goals? They started out touring with fans and often faced challenges due to her skin color. They did not want to perform, but she kept practicing, practicing, Learning the teams while cleaning and dressing rooms. One day, when a dancer couldn't perform, she was ready to step in. And the crowd loved her silly act when dancing. And she did not give up. She was not a quitter. After touring the US, she traveled to France where she faced far less racism. This was not a time of slavery. This was a time of segregation and racism. She finally felt welcome and moved to France full time. America out. And she became an international sensation. Joseph's most famous performance was the banana dance. When France needed help, she became a spy. She often traveled on tour, which allowed her to hear secrets and help allies. Even though she was a spy, she kept dancing. When she returned to the US, she became a civil rights activist. She gave speeches and refused to perform in front of segregated crowds. Josephine adopted 12 children from different countries. Adopted means that the children's parents were gone or may have died. Sorry. And other people who wanted children adopts them, like cares for them, and take them as their own son or daughter. How was Josephine successful? Josephine was awarded the Medal of Resistance, a French military award for heroism. The first woman to ever, ever receive it. The end of the lazy peak deemed May 20th, Josephine Baker Day for all her work on civil rights. She was the only one to 
woman to receive a 21 gun salute at her favorite funeral with French military honors. Drifting was the only female speaker at the March of Washington, where there was over 250,000 people in attendance. Okay, now that's not all about Justin Baker. We're going to have an activity for kids and put on your dancing shoes. This dynamic duo will show us how to dance the Charleston. In games, Josephine made famous in Paris. Mom, take it away. Hey everybody, we're getting ready to do the Charleston dance today. And the best thing about this dance was that it was actually originated in Charleston, South Carolina by a gentleman named James P. Johnson. The first time he did it, it was on Broadway. The fun thing I like about the Charleston is that it actually feels like you're squishing a bug. And you have to make sure that when you're leading into the dance, you want to think about the five, six, seven, eight, right before the dance starts so that way you're right in time with the music and your movement. So we're going to be moving forward with your right foot, and then you're going to be stepping back with your left. As you get this rhythm going back and forth with your feet, what you want to feel is that you want to start twisting your feet. That's the part where it's going to feel like you're squishing some bugs, okay? From here, you're going to add some arms with you, giving a little bit of structure. And then when you have a little bit more freedom, you want to bring it up nice. Have a little bit of freedom when you're doing the step. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the Charleston. Here, the plastic garbage can, many different sewing machines, 
a hair dryer, and the Leo Master Tour. In 2008, Charles was awarded the Smithsonian's National Design Museum for a lifetime of achievement. And now let's watch a video highlighting the life of Charles Chuck Harrison. Mom, again, take it away. Black History Month, FYI, celebrates the unsung hero of all products that we use every day. One of the first black industrial designers, Charles Alfred Harrison Jr. He was born in 1931, overcame racist hiring policies to become Sears and Robux and Company's first black exec and the first black head of their design department, designing household products like the first plastic garbage can, toys like the iconic Viewmaster, sewing that. machines, <laughs> televisions, <laughs> radios, kitchen appliances, and more. And before he passed away in 2018, Harrison was the first black man awarded the Lifetime Achievement National Design Award by Cooper Hewitt Smithsonian Design Museum. Ah. Okay. Today's Black History Month. All right, thank you so much, Professor Ernie. Do we have any questions out there? And feel free to use the chat or the Q&A box, or you can also use the raise your hand button on Zoom and I can unmute your microphone. All right, no questions so far. Let's see, Professor Ernie or Dr. Judith, would you like to talk about the speech competition from the Third Institute? Great segue. Yes. So for those that are online tonight, we will have our first information night around the TTI annual speech competition. We are so excited to offer all kids the opportunity to do exactly what you see Professor Ernie doing, talking about heroes and sheroes you're interested in. So if you can join us tonight, we're gonna to share a lot of good information. The link is on the website and we will to make sure you know, there will be really awesome prizes for those that join and win. Prizes like money, prizes like gift cards, toys, all kinds of stuff that's super fun. That's it. Do we have any questions? Oh, yep, yeah, we do have a question. I'm going to unmute Ray's microphone. Hold on one moment. Uh, I'll just get acting. What is this website called? Great. The website is www.thethirdinstitute.org. Oh, my bad. I thought that was uh, the thing that we're supposed to be clicking on. <laughs> nope, you're fine. I think Ray had a question. How old was Josephine and Charles at the prime? They lived a long time, I think. Yeah. Any other questions? 
we had a fun fact. How about you tell everybody about her children? Actually, um, her children that were adopted all around the world, she called them the Rainbow Tribe because the rainbow has all sorts of different colors. And she doesn't think that um, there should be segregated white and black children, teenagers, babies, or adults. She thinks they should be equal. And that's why I think she called her children, adopted children, the rainbow tribe. That is a fun fact, okay? All right, thank you. Any other questions? All right, everyone, thanks so much for coming. Um, again, you can go to the thirdinstitute.org for more information about the speech competition. And please spread the word. Thanks again for coming, everybody. We'll see you next month. Bye.